Hello Aquarians, welcome to your horoscope for January 2022. Happy New Year. So I hope you had a, a wonderful um, celebration for the New Year. So on the third of the month, you've got Mercury, which is going into your first house. So you might feel more, conf more confident in your communication um, and feel more, I guess, like a proudness of yourself too. But on the 15th, Mercury will be in retrograde to the middle of February. During this time, we say do not sign contracts, um, communication may not go well, technology may not go smoothly. You might hear from people from your past as well can come back into your life with that. On the 29th, 25th, Mars is going to go into your 12th house, the house of secrets. So this could be a time where, you know, you have to, important secrets made this month, but you might have to keep this from someone or your own secrets too. But also, Venus retrograde will end in the 12th house on the 29th of the month as well. So in Venus retrograde, it can be something to do with financial or relationships and love. Um, old relationships will be better to, during that time. New relationships might not be as, as smooth going. Um, also, it could be like some financial issues too. Or maybe that's where the secret's coming in. Um, let's have a look at the cards. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, look at the cards. So I do feel like this is a bit of a daydreaming month for you guys, Aquarians, where you're um, daydreaming and, and wishing and like it's like kind of visualize to where you're going to go and, and think forward and, and plan. Um, I do feel like there's a bit of disheartening or a bit of um, worriedness or anxiety around to do with your career. I feel like it's to do with your career. But kind of like you're worrying over nothing. It's like everything's going to be okay. You're you're listening to like a third party. I mean, you should just be listening to yourself and your own intuition. And it's like um, I just do, I do feel like it's going to be okay. But this month, it I just get it's even like you're thinking about your career where you're going. There is a a planning aspect going on, and you're trying to think about where everything is going. Um. Like, yeah, like there is some emotional stuff going on with your work, with your, with your earnings, your like money, um, but it's also knowing that, you know, things are, are really going to be okay and really going to, um, I just feel like it's going to be okay. Like everything's starting to pick up a little bit more by the by the end of the month. Things are starting to pick up more. There's also um, communication where... Um, you're worried about, or could it be there couldn't be someone at work that's the worry, and you're trying to help them. That even could be the issue with this card too, where um, whenever I get this card, I always stress out because I feel like it's worried and anxious. But the angel behind it is sending out to me, so I do feel like it could be that you're hearing something, but you're helping someone else um, get over their anxiety and their frustration um, for this this month. But things will start to, by the end of the month, I feel like by the end of the month, things do start picking up for you. Uh, let me go to relationships. I've got money as well. I do see you sort of storing and saving some money away. I do feel like because this, you're saving for something that you really want to do, that you really love, and I do feel like you'd be able to save up money for that this year, or not this year, this month for you. In terms of relationships, um, I do get a bit, a bit of frustration. There's a bit of like um, discussions about how to do things, like we are going. It took like a lot of a big of planning. January is a month for planning, and I do feel like it's going to be a bit of frustration. You're talking with someone trying to plan things out, so it could be you're planning um, with your partner on celebrations going ahead, or you know how you guys want to go further as well. Um, I do feel like, but I do feel like there's a time out. Would you use one some wonders this month if you can? There's also a time out. I also feel like it's a month where you're going to feel your like angelic energy, like angels around you too, um, where you're going to want like peace and stability as well this month around you guys. So we'll go to the Leish family. I will say there's a sibling around you uh, that needs to stop with Maribi too. Someone that's about the smoking needs to stop smoking. But I'm smoking symbols in this card and it is standing out to me so there's a pro issue with someone that's smoking as a sibling for this month i also feel like to do is it's also about um it's also about a time frame happening and about money also i feel like there's more of like a brother energy that's coming coming in with this 
Um, it's also about getting them to stand back and letting you do what you have to do. Like you need room to breathe a little bit. I also feel like um, there's a lot of change coming around the home and family with you this month too. And it's just about having peace, but also I guess seeing the light and seeing a new direction where you want to go to as well and getting things established for yourself. Let me look at friends. I do feel like it's a good month for you to celebrate with friends and going out with friends, celebrating, um, having a good time, enjoying yourself. I do feel like that's could be coming from the cards this month for you, the Aquarians. And I, I do feel like you got your I do feel like you're going to feel a lot better. Um, I also feel like it's a good month for fertility, so perhaps a good month if you are planning on having a baby or starting a family. I do feel like it's a good month for that too for you as well. Um, it's also a month of, I feel like, yeah, you're really trying, the saving money is coming, the collecting of money coming in um, is coming strongly for you as well. Also, there's something, I guess, spiritually you're not seeing the full story or even about travelling or the education, something you're not seeing the whole the whole situation you're not seeing clearly just yet let me just see what else i can get for you the aquarians aquarians stand firm and stand strong stay within your power this month you're a very powerful star sign this month and you're got not without shame or regret or saying things or doing things that isn't worth your while it's a month of action and forging ahead you're going to help the capricorn energy through and through and help establish new beginnings and establish connections with people you never thought you would. This month is about being prepared for what's coming ahead. Start making your plans. Stop, start developing new things into your life so you can explore the new pathways that's going to open up for you. Okay. Um, so thank you for your comments, liking and sharing. I will be doing my, my weekly live still coming up in 2022. I have finished my videos for the year ahead as well, which I upload them um, when I'm doing uploading these videos. I um, thank you for liking and sharing your comments. And I will um, see you for your horoscope for next month. So bye for now.